Hi, my name is Mary Beth Hertz. I'm a computer teacher in West Philadelphia. I teach kindergarten through sixth grade, and I'm here to talk to you about Google Reader and how I use it with my students and how I use it in my professional life. I first started using Google Reader about a year and a half ago. I use it to keep up with blogs, um, and it's easier to use my Google Reader than try to go around the internet and read each blog individually. I have in my Google Reader about three different folders that I keep my blogs in. Um, I have one that's for teacher blogs. I have one that's for friends of mine who are non-teachers, friends blogs. I have um, resource sharing blogs, so I have a folder of just blogs that share technology resources. I also have um, a list of blogs or a folder of blogs that's just of what I call famous bloggers. So people like Angela Myers or um, Carl Fish or Will Richardson, um, those kind of, and uh, Vicki Davis, those kinds of um, bloggers. So that way it helps me if I don't have a lot of time, I can just go through and say, okay, what kind of blog do I want or what kind of information do I feel like reading rather than having to scroll through all of my blogs. Um, I also, with, for my students, what I do, I have um, my fourth, fifth, and sixth grades are using Digo, which is a social bookmarking tool, to do research. So in their Digo library, when they share their links to our group, their, our Digo group, I can actually subscribe to the RSS feed. So it's a great way for me to see what they're looking at, what they're bookmarking, how they're taking notes, so I can give them feedback and I can just keep up with their, the progress of their projects. I know some other teachers who have student blogs where they can, um, they can actually subscribe to the student blog RSS feed and keep track of the, each post that each student puts up all right there in Google Reader rather than having to go to each blog. I actually created a folder, two folders, um, in my Google Reader for right now for just my fifth and sixth grade. So even there, I can just click on the folder for the Digo, um, the Digo group RSS feed rather than having to scroll through um, all of the student RSS feeds. So Google Reader is a great way to be able to access a lot of information without having to click all over the place or have to having to search out a lot of information. It's also great if you come across something that really interests you, you just click that little RSS button and it shows up right there and you can begin reading all the new posts. So I highly suggest you give it a try um, and start simple. I mean, start with maybe three or four blogs and see how it goes and then add on. You know, if you try to jump in, too fast, you end up like me with 800 unread items trying to keep up with what you've missed and not been able to read. So um, just do what's manageable, and once you get the hang of it, add some more. Thanks, and enjoy.